Does inquiry look the same at each grade level? And how much inquiry instruction should be done at each grade level? Today we talk about that in the Inquiry Zone. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Inquiry Zone. I'm Douglas Huntings, Director of the STEM Primary Education. And this is John Taylor, uh, Director of STEM Education here at Ethos also. Um, great to be with you. And we have a yes, special we have shout out. Special shout out to New Paris Elementary. Hello mm -hmm. everyone out there. Awesome. And John, they brought up a great question today and we're going to take a few minutes to talk about it, which I think it will apply to schools everywhere, not just New Paris. Awesome, awesome. So here's the question, John. It says, how much inquiry should we, should we do in the early elementary compared to the older? So basically, they want to know how far, how far should they go in the process to make it appropriate for primary versus intermediate? Yeah, this is, a, this is a good question. And this is one we could definitely could break into a little mini series, I think, if we wanted to. Um, oh, yes, we and, could. Hey, some points just kind of jump out at me real quick. Um, one is... When you look at, you know, we, we talk, we like to use an approach. We do observations, questioning, prediction. We work it on up into where the kids um, do a conclusion and, and report out and share with others a big part of this. Um, but observation should be done, I believe, at every grade level. But K-12, when you it think about it. So what I'd expect to happen as far as observations in a kindergarten level, a lot of really cool one word. We saw this, pictures like that. Whereas we're getting into, you know, the upper grades, uh, observation includes, you know, digging into doing some research, reading articles. What do you observe in these articles? What are you pulling out of them? I mean, it, it means something. It, it's the same term, but it means something different. Yeah, because as we talked about in other videos, the observation is that foundation for the learning, especially when going through the inquiry process. So we need to do observation at every grade level, not just say, oh, that's, that's too primary, that's too easy. Well, that's why, like you mentioned, observation just looks different at each level. Students are, all the students are still going through the steps, it just looks different, just right. like in other subject areas too. And when I think about what would be appropriate for the different levels, that kind of goes back to what we've talked about before, where I've mentioned, you know, I see K, you know, K to three, the primary as thinking, learning how to think like a scientist. Then when you get to the upper and above, you think like a scientist, you use those skills, you know, to learn the science content. So if you think about going from starting with observations all the way to the sharing out in the primary, well, use those questions, use the observations, make the questions, even start talking about predictions, but then the rest of the steps to model, do it whole group, or even just exposing the kids to the vocabulary, I think is important. Then as you progress through the elementary levels and even through the middle, the students then, I believe, should be able to create those data statements, make those conclusions, and share out the results. I think it's very appropriate when you get to the upper elementary for students to be going through all the steps. Yes, we're looking for inquiry to be a very natural progression. And we forget, you know, the curiosity is something you want to keep going, um, which means taking time for observations and questioning to kick it off it is very, very important. So that it's just natural for the students at any grade level. As adults, we do that too. Everybody, you start off, you look at it, what do we got here? And then you think, hmm, what's going on here? And you're already into that process at that point. Very important. So I would, you know, to help the teachers to think about this, just, you know, lower grades, it's exposure. It's hitting the observation question. Those foundations, yes, have the students do that, continue to practice that. But thinking of the other steps, just exposing them to it. Don't, don't drive yourself crazy. You know, me as a, you know, as a teacher, I want to do my best. We all want to do our best. And, but we want, but we, you and I want to make sure teachers aren't stressing out putting too much on their plate themselves. Right. It's, I love the, love the ambition of wanting to go through all the steps. That's great, that's great science teaching, but we also wanna watch out for them and make sure that they're not overrunning themselves too. Sure, and some people make the point of depth versus breadth, and maybe a take on that would be if the, uh, if the, if the earliest grades, if they focus on the first few steps 
and you make sure these kids got down uh, observations, you know, at kindergartners. If they go from kindergarten to first grade and they have down what an observation is, uh, question, get to questioning. And by the next grade, they know what questioning is. You know, just achieving that is amazing. And if you can just uh, yes. knock in each one off and, and what you're doing is you're preparing things for the next grade level, which is why as teachers, it's so important to talk amongst the grades, which happens, I think, in most schools anyways, and it should happen. And that, hey, here's what's coming to you. Here's what we got to. You can pick up at this point. Not meaning that they're going to jump the next uh, next step on the rung, but they can come back. They'll come back to questioning okay. at their grade appropriate. And then they keep building and take a little bit farther and a little bit farther as they go. So again, as they make that flip from, you know, how do we do science to doing science, that it's very comfortable, it's very natural, and they've had a lot of exposure to. Yes, very good. All right, that was a great discussion. I'm so glad again, thanks to especially new pairs for bringing up those questions and others, please continue to submit those questions. We appreciate it. We'll take this time to help each other learn and grow as we work as a team to get science to every child in every building. And if you want to reach out to us at ethos at www.ethosinc.org or email us at contact, the email's at the bottom of the page and, and send those questions in. We love to discuss them. Thank you very much. That's right. Thanks for your time and we'll see you guys next time. At Ethos, we were able to work with some outstanding teachers. A big shout out to Principal Gingrich and the dedicated staff at New Paris Elementary. Go Cubbies!